All right, with that being said, uh, we'll call the uh, please. Vice President Chumna? Yes. Councilor Geary? Yes. Councilor Kelly? Yes. Councilor Gibson? 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 Yes. Councilor Yes. Councilor Gibson? 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 Yes. President Drain? Yes. Motion carried 7 nine. of you for having the faith to entrust me with, as Mr. Chumnock said a few minutes ago, the uh, future of the borough to play a part in the team. I'm looking forward to continuing on the path that we've already started. I believe, truly believe, Pottstown is on its way to a vibrancy that we haven't experienced in a long time. Thank you. Actually, this, this candidate was not my original choice, actually. Um, the candidate that I supported uh, throughout most of the process. <coughs> Um, had a wealth of borough management experience, uh, a wealth of authority and management experience, uh, uh, finance and budgeting. Uh, I was only one vote in the process, uh, and the committee as a whole felt that uh, the familiarity that th this candidate has uh, with the staff and the, and the borough, and the knowledge that he has with the staff and the borough, and of course his uh, his unprecedented managerial success, um, uh, you know, superseded uh, the experience. Uh, the, 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 the committee felt that uh, the experience can be gained um, over time. Mr. Flanders jumped out as just a, an individual who's got a passion for not just the borough of Pottstown, but has demonstrated that by the work that he's done throughout his career as a, as a police officer up through the rank of chief. And uh, just listening to him answer the questions that we address to him, and, and not so much the, you know, the technical type questions, but just the general leadership questions, uh, made it clear to me that uh, he was the um, right person for the job. It, this is not a walk in the park. People think that anybody can do some of these jobs, and it's very difficult. And if you don't have the education behind you and the experience behind you, it's impossible. I feel that uh, we made a very good decision. Mr. Wren, uh, you were there as a member of the uh, Water and Sewer Authority. Right, there's not much I can add to what already has been said. Uh, the process was exhaustive, uh, all-inclusive, uh, certainly above board and uh, with no predetermined uh, conclusion to the process. I'd like to add too that we we had several fine candidates, and um, I think uh, the 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 recommended candidate was was the clear uh, clear choice for the borough. I'm disappointed that it appears that you have dismissed the process that you were that you have chosen for vetting the prospective borough manager. I'm disappointed to learn of the allegations of unethical behavior by people in positions of responsibility for the well-being and safety of this community. It's difficult to support your decisions when we can't trust you or the process. So, the first question would be, for those that were here, is how did the last internal promotion work out to a borough manager position, which would have been previous to Jason Bose? Um, you guys can answer that question, only I can. So, in general, you know, there's a few things that whoever you appoint, in my opinion, they should have which would be a high moral reputation, a high ethical reputation, not only in serving our community, but in their personal life. Obviously, I have none of those. That's why I didn't apply. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys can answer that, you know, yes to all those questions, then, you know, by all means, um, you know, vote in the person that you think is most qualified. Uh, personally, you know, maybe you need to table the vote for another month to um, gather some more information. 